Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Night Prayer on Friday the 4th of December. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let's think back to the day, and perhaps to the whole of the week that's come so far, because for some of us Friday is the end of the working week. Whatever has happened, whatever's gone on, we can bring it all to God. And for anything we did wrong or got wrong, let's ask for God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Grant, we ask, merciful Lord, for us, your people, pardon and peace, that we may be freed from all our mistakes and wrongdoings and follow you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. And now Jenny is going to read part of Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things, and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has set his throne in heaven, and his kingship has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Amen. Our Bible reading tonight is Matthew 13, verses 24 to 30, and then verses 36 to 43. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed ears, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time I will tell the harvesters, First collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned, then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. Then he left the crowd and went into the house. His disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He answered, 
The one who sowed the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seed stands for the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. As the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has ears, let him hear. If there was any expectation that the Messiah, Jesus, would bring about the end of the world very soon while he was on earth, that parable says no, it isn't going to be like that. We're in the time where the plants from good seed and the weeds are growing together. But the parable does also make clear that at the end time there will be judgment. Now a liturgy continues. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. The words of Simeon seeing the baby Jesus in the temple. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Heavenly Father, we're in this world where there is good and bad together. It's a world that hurts, especially now. We need your help, Lord. So we pray for this world, for our country and its government, for our families and for ourselves. We pray, Lord, for your care, your help and your protection. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now the Advent Collect. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armour of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. We come now to the Lord's Prayer. And I invite you to say it with me if you are able to. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those that sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for it is you alone, Lord, that make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch look for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. 
The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us his peace, this night and evermore. Amen.